welcome to class. My name is Tati and today we'll be flowing through a short yoga flow. So today's class is perfect for if you want to build some strength, also incorporate some flexibility and then of course leaving some time to relax and bring the nervous system back down into a calm state. You won't need any props for today and if you haven't already subscribed please go ahead and hit that subscribe button before we get started. Beginning class today in a comfortable cross-legged seated position. So take a note of which leg is in front. Resting the hands on the knees, lifting the shoulders up towards the ears and rolling them back. Sinking the shoulders, perhaps closing down the eyes. And start to connect with your breath, taking deep inhalations in through the nose and exhale out. Continuing in your own time, taking nice deep belly breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth or nose. arriving in your practice today. Inhale, blink open the eyes and inhale, sweeping the arms up, palms to touch, exhale, hands come to heart center. From here, placing the left hand next to the body and reaching that right arm up and overhead, finding a side body stretch. So that right arm is reaching up and over towards the left side, sinking the right hip heavy. You can relax the neck towards the shoulder, either gazing up or towards the ground. Exhale, switching sides, right arm comes alongside the body, left arm sweeps up and overhead, stretching those left fingertips towards the right side, sinking the left hip towards the earth. And again, the option to gaze up towards the extended arm or down towards the ground. Exhale, release. And then just folding forward, walking the hands to the front, maybe coming down onto the elbows, rounding the spine, relaxing the chin towards the chest, as you find in the seated forward fold. Exhale, pressing yourself back up into a tall spine and then switching the direction of the cross of your legs. So bringing the other leg in front. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Right hand comes onto left knee. Left arm floats behind. Inhale, pressing into the left fingertips to really lengthen the crown. And then exhale, twisting over towards the left side, gazing over your left shoulder. Nice tall spine, feeling that gentle twist in the lower spine as you expand your chest open. Exhale, untwist, arms sweep up and switching sides. So left hand comes onto right knee, right arm floats behind. Inhale, pressing into the right fingertips, nice tall spine. Exhale, twist, gazing over the right shoulder. Relaxing the shoulders. And release. And coming to fold forward once again. So walking the hands in front of you. I'll come to face you this way. Relaxing the chest, the chin. You're either on your elbows or you can back out, come onto your fingertips, wherever feels comfortable for you today. And then lifting yourself back up, 
swinging the legs to the side and coming into a all fours tabletop position. So you're facing the front of your mat now, hands are stacked underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and then starting to flow through a few rounds of cat cow. So dip the belly, open the chest into cow pose and exhale, pressing the floor away, rounding the spine into cat. Inhale, dip the belly, exhale as you round into cat. And then using your breath to flow between cow pose with the inhalation and cat pose with the exhalation. Going as fast or as slow as feels good for you today. One more round. And then finding back into a neutral tabletop position stretching the right foot behind and gently rocking backwards and forwards. So starting to warm up the back of the right calf. Lifting the right leg up and you can stay here or if you have the balance, stretching the left arm in front of you. So keeping the hips nice and squared, gazing at the mat. And from here, we're going to crunch the elbow and the knee, so left Elbow comes underneath the body to touch the right knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, exhale. And two. And one. And from here, you can either hold or start to bring the left arm behind you, bending your right knee. Maybe you don't quite find your foot if you do finding it pressing actively into the hand and the foot, finding into tiger pose. Breathing in. Exhale, straighten out, dropping the left hand and then stepping the right foot forward between the hands, coming into a low lunge position. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, sinking the hips nice and low. Exhale, cactus the arms, open the chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, cactus the arms, opening up the chest. And exhale, releasing the hands, straighten the front leg. So the toes of the right foot are pointing up, hips are squared. Inhale, lift your chest, coming onto the fingertips, and exhale, folding forward into half splits. Remember to take nice deep breaths here, maybe making use of your ujjayi breath, if that's within your practice. the next inhalation, bending into your right leg, stepping back into tabletop position. Left foot floats behind, tucking the toe and then gently rocking backwards and forwards, warming up the left calf. Inhale, lifting the left leg up, nice stable foundation, staying here or challenging your balance by stretching the right arm out to the top of the mat, nice squared hips, breathe in to lengthen, exhale, bring the right elbow underneath the body to touch the left knee, crunch, inhale, lengthen, exhale, crunch, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, touching elbow to knee, inhale, to lengthen and tapping for the last time. Inhale, lengthen, and from here, bending into your left knee, right arm floats behind, either trying to reach for your foot, don't worry if you can't quite catch it, or finding your foot, pressing actively foot into hand, gazing over your right shoulder, or to the ground if you need a bit of added stability. Exhale, release, stretching out, nice straight line. 
right hand comes to the mat, stepping left foot in front between the hands. Don't worry if you can't get there in one step, finding low lunge. So your right knee is on the mat, inhale, exhale. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, sinking the hips low. Exhale, cactus the arms, open the chest. Inhale to lengthen, gazing forwards. Exhale, cactus. Framing the front foot, shifting the hips back and straightening the left foot, left leg, finding into half splits. Inhale, lifting the chest and exhale, fold. Inhale, bending into the front knee, and then from here, step it back into a plank position. So you're in your hive plank, or if you need the added support, you can always come down onto the knees. We're breathing here. Exhale, tapping right knee to right elbow, step back into plank. Tapping left knee to left elbow, plank. And then we're alternating right, plank, left. Tapping five four, three, two, and one. You've got this holding for one breath. Exhale, hips press up and back, downward facing dog. Good job. Taking a moment to pedal out the legs here. Bending into one knee and the other, maybe shaking the head yes and no. And then finding stillness, rooting through all 10 fingers, all 10 toes, and connecting back to your breath. Inhale, bend the knees, gazing forward, and then walk, step or hop, feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips on the mat, the shins or the thighs. Exhale, fold. Come into your forward fold, rounding the spine and slowly rolling yourself up one vertebra at a time. Coming all the way into mountain pose, bringing the palms to touch at the heart space and taking a moment to connect with your breath. Inhale, sweeping the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back into a high plank position, taking one breath here. Exhale, lower yourself all the way down onto the mat. You can always use your knees for support. Inhale, finding cobra, pressing into the palms, opening the chest. Exhale, finding your downward facing dog. Inhale, right foot sweeps up three-legged dog, bringing the right foot forward between the hands, inhale, high lunge, lifting the arms, and exhale, open up into a warrior two position, gazing over the right fingertips. Right toes are pointing towards the top of the mat, the back foot is parallel to the short edge of the mat. Flip the palm, leaning forward, exhale, reverse your warrior. Breathing here. Exhale, coming through warrior two, bringing right arm onto right thigh, left arm sweeps up and over into your side angle pose and you can stay here or bringing the right hand to the inside of the right foot. Exhale, windmill yourself back up, straighten your right foot and edging the left foot a little bit in finding into Trikonasana triangle pose. So your right hand finds the mat or the shin. Left hand can stay on the left hip to really help rotate your chest open or extending the left arm up towards the sky. Breathing here. And exhale, lifting yourself all the way up. Rotating the heels out, toes in, hands come onto the hips, 
expanding the chest with the inhalation and exhale folding forward. Hands can stay on the hips or bringing them directly underneath you, lifting your body, exhale fold. Walking the hands back so that the wrist creases are in line with the heels. And then inhale, walking the hands back forward, half lift, exhale, raising yourself all the way up. This time turning the left foot to face the back of the mat, right foot is parallel to the short edge of the mat and sweeping the arms open into a warrior two position. Breathing in. Exhale, rotating the back leg to face the back of the mat, finding high lunge, sweeping both arms up towards the sky. Exhale, open back out through warrior two, flipping the left palm, reversing your warrior, left arm swoops up and overhead, right hand can rest on the right leg. Exhale, coming through warrior two, left arm onto left thigh, right arm swoops up and over, side angle pose. Welcome to stay here or bring the left hand to the inside of the left foot. And then from here, lifting yourself back up, straightening the front leg, edging the right foot closer, preparing for triangle, tilting the hips, left arm comes down, right arm comes up, Always the option to keep the right hand on the hip. Gazing to the ground or up towards the extended fingertips. And then inhale, lifting yourself out of the pose. This time heels in, toes out and sitting yourself down into goddess squat hands, resting on the thighs or coming to prayer. Breathing here and then we're going to take a few rounds of alternating lifting the left heel up off the mat lower right heel lifts and lower and alternating left right one more on each side left and right and then we're going to try lift both of them sinking your hips a little lower Pulsing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale, straighten the legs, reaching the arms up, star pose. Exhale, release the hands, walking the feet in, and I'll come to face you this way. So facing the long edge of your mat, heels in, toes out. You're a little bit wider than hip width and then sinking the hips down into Malasana Yogi Squat. You can always keep the hands on the mat in front of you for stabilizers. Don't worry if your heels don't quite reach the mat. And then it can also feel really nice to just alternate opening the hips from side to side as you open the hips a little more before you find stillness. And once you're in your Still yogi squat, you can bring the palms to touch at the heart center, maybe pressing the elbows into the knees if you really want to help open up the pose. Connecting back to your breath. And exhale, release the hands, release the bum bringing the legs in front of you and either lifting the feet with the hands holding on to the inside of the kneecaps or opening the arms out in front of you, finding it to the Navasana boat pose. <laughs> Breathing here, last little stretch, last little bit of ab workout and then tapping left toe, right toe, left toe, right toe and we continue 20, no, I'm joking, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Holding here. Exhale, half lower. So your shoulders and legs are up off the mat. Hold, hold, hold. And exhale, release. Finding onto your back, hugging the knees to the chest. Gently rocking from side to side. 
And you're welcome to find a happy baby or stay with the knees hugged into the chest. And then straightening out the legs, finding into a short Shavasana, palms facing up. Letting go of any tension in your body now. Connecting back to your breath. The sensation of your ribcage rising and falling as you inhale and exhale. Taking another nice deep breath in. Start to wriggle the fingers and toes. Hugging the knees into the chest. And then taking as much time as you need. Rolling over one side. And finding your way into a seated position. Keeping your eyes closed. Relaxing the hands on the knees. Shoulders are sinking away from the ears. And take a moment to notice how you feel now at the end of practice. Inhale, sweeping the arms up, palms to touch. I'm bringing the prayer to the heart center, filling your heart with gratitude. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing today. I really hope that you enjoyed this short-ish yoga flow and that you feel energized, were able to build some strength, but also relax. If you haven't already subscribed, it would really mean a lot. Thank you that this community is already over a thousand. And if you enjoy the video, the best way that you can support this channel is by giving the video a thumbs up, maybe leaving a little comment in the comment section and sharing the video with anyone you know might also like to do some yoga. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you on the mat again real soon. All my love.